Hey guys, Big Dipper here. So we got a look at all the new subclasses in Destiny 2, including the three that are coming back and their changes. IGN uploaded okay. a video of the new map, Endless Veil, and both the Sentinel subclass and the 2.0 Void Blocker. I'm going to give my personal opinions about Destiny 2 and the videos recently uploaded on it. And a rumor that I heard about the beta that I hope is true. I've been keeping up with the news for Destiny 2 since the reveal. I have been hyped from the beginning. The main thing on my wish list for Destiny 2 is for the story to be fun, long, and for it to be just to, to give me a sense of who I'm playing as, not for it to be a tedious series of missions without a true meaning as to why my character even exists in the first place. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Vanilla Destiny story sucked ass. Am I, am I right? I, I mean, seriously, who the honest f No, but seriously, I'm sure we can all agree that the original story was lacking Bring some, if not many, elements that we were expecting from its reveal at E3 in 2013. I wasn't interested in Destiny in the slightest when I heard about it. I was too busy, no life in Call of Duty. Now I know life's destiny, and that's just, that's just ironic. And the one game that I would, thought I'd never be interested in, is a game that I now play the most. Bungie has promised that the story has all new cinematics characters and allies at your side, relatable characters and a sense of what it truly means to be a guardian. All of that sounds amazing. I want to be immersed into the story, I want to forget that it's just a video game and understand that the true meaning as to why I'm playing in the first place is going to be a good feeling. This is a great direction for Destiny 2, and I can't wait to play the story. PvP even sounds like it's going to be fun as well. 4v4 seems like it will add a sense of competitive spirit into the Crucible. I hope the raid will be more like Wrath of the Machine. It's my favorite raid in terms of no nostalgia. If Wrath and Vault were made at the same time at launch, I'd probably play Wrath more. The Sentinel subclass has a Captain America vibe to it. The Titan in the video, link in the description, went off on the other team and looked like a skilled player was at the controller. That where the Titans are oh, overpowered again and can Titan skate. Which I hope that's the reason. I hope to God that's the reason. If there is Titan skating, I could, I could probably get up in everyone's face and just obliterate them before they even know what's going on. So, you know, that'd be, that'd be cool. Please, Bungie. I beg you, keep Titan skating in the game. I really love it. Please. My main concern for the Void Walker, though. My main concern is that the Nova Bomb traveled so slow, but it it also it also went around a corner and had a gigantic blast radius. So I I don't know if that that's a good compensation for how slow it travels or, or if that's uh, that's what Lance is in the game because Lance is Destiny One. It, it it you throw it go straight and it goes super fast. And um, didn't have that much big of a blast radius either. Also, I'm pretty sure there was also a perk for uh, Void Walker's Destiny 1 for the explosion to be bigger. But still, the explosion was bigger even though I used that perk in Destiny 1. So hopefully, there's another perk to make it even bigger in Destiny 2. And uh, man, I, I just can't wait to play. Yeah, it's 4 because he went. Like, there's, there's no other explanation. I want to play Void Walker so bad. I hop on Destiny every day, or from time to time, to play as a Void Walker, or as just a Slime Titan, because I just love slamming enemies, you know? It has that, it has that satisfaction to it. It has that satisfaction. Overall, I can't wait to play with all the new subclasses, they all look great. Even the Pole Dancer. I mean, I mean, I don't even know what's called, Arch Rider? Is that what's called? The Arc Staff? Yeah, it doesn't seem all that cool, but still. Pole dancer. No, back one. Lastly, the rumor of the beta. In a video, I saw that the beta would have two story missions and not one. Also, people can pre-download the beta the day or night before. Uh, that, that's all the rumor states. There's nothing else. I'm 100% sure this is true or not, so don't quote me. Anyway, Destiny 2 looks like a good game and looks really great and it looks like it's going to have what they actually promised this time instead of a makeshift, half-assed, last-moment type of game like Destiny 1 was. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and sub for more Destiny content. And also, I will be streaming the beta. I will be streaming. I, I took off I took off work just for that. Just for you guys. So I can stream, stream the beta. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.